Same direction B, different direction. You say that their resultant will be equal to A minus B magnitude. I repeat, when two vectors are in different directions, the resultant will be A minus B magnitude. That is the first vector minus the second vector. Ensure that the answer is positive. Then when they are in the same direction, either this way, this is A, this is B, or this way, this is A, this is B, you say that their resultant, their R will be equal to A plus B. Because they are in same direction. Then, when two vectors are perpendicular to each other, when two vectors are perpendicular to each other, this is vector A, this is vector B, their resultant will be done using, using Pythagoras theorem. That is, a Pythagoras theorem will give you square root of a square plus b square. That is when they are at perpendicular to each other. Okay? Then, as you have noted this, when they say that two vectors are in opposite direction, two vectors are in opposite direction, and maybe they form a straight line like this, and they say, what is the angle between the two vectors? The angle between the two vectors is 180 degrees. Here, the angle between the two vectors is 90 degrees. So you have to note all these points. They are very, very important in vector. Back to cross product of this vector. What does it have to get the cross product of the vector? Now, to get your angle between two vectors, you can use this sine theta equal to this, or you can use cos theta equal to A dot B all over A magnitude B magnitude. I repeat, whenever they ask you, find the angle between two given vectors, say you can use this formula, or you can use this formula. And why using this, follow the rules of dot product. Why using this, follow the rules of cross of vector product. Please, we'll see how to use one of them in this topic. Now, to get 3u cross 2v, 3u cross 2v, what is our 3u? We say our u equals to minus i plus 2j minus 2k. Our 3u will be equal to minus 3i plus 6j minus 6k. Yes. Then our V is equal to 3i plus 4j minus 12k. Our 2V is equal to 6i plus 8j minus 24k. That is it. Now, we want to get that cross product, cross product of this and this. See how we will get it. What you do is that you locate them here. You write, what is the quotient of this minus 3? Minus 3. What is the quotient of this plus 6? What is quotient of this minus 6? Then, what is quotient of this 6? What is quotient of this 8? What is quotient of this minus 24? Okay? Then, what you now do is you say plus i minus j plus k. You write it at the top, at the top of everything, plus i minus j plus k. Now, how do we now do it? Hold this horizontal line, hold this straight. Now, when you hold the first one, the first column, see what you'll be writing. You say i plus i bracket 
Get the determinant of this. Six times this. Determinant means difference between the product of diagonal element and off diagonal element. This is called diagonal element. This is called off diagonal element. This times this. 24 times 6. For 144. So, this times this minus 144. You must put minus. There are 8 times this. 48 minus 48. Minus 48. Minus times minus plus. So, it's here plus 48. Then you now put, put the question here. Then clean this. You hold here. You now say minus gel bracket. Look at the element that will appear. You write it down. Minus 3, 6, minus 6, minus 24. Now this is the diagonal element. Minus 3 times this, 24 times 3, 12, 6, 72. 24 times 3 is 72. Minus times minus plus, so we write 72. We must put our minus because we say the difference between the diagonal and the off diagonal product. Then we now say 6 times this minus 36. Minus times minus plus, we say plus 36. Okay? We repeat again, this times is 72. You put minus, this times is 36. You put plus because it's minus, minus is plus. And we did the first one, say this times is minus 144, you put minus, this times 48, minus, minus plus. Then you now say plus k. You write this plus k, you clean here. When you clean here, you circle here. You now say 3 times this will give you minus 3 times 8, 24. 6 times 6, that's 6. Minus 24, minus 36. Now let's sort it out. Minus 144 plus 48. We write 144, 48. We now say, okay. This will give you 6. 13 minus this, 9. So 96. You write minus 96 times this, minus 96i. Then, then, you say 72 times, 72 plus 36. 72 plus 36. That will be giving you 8108. 108 times this, minus 108j. Okay? Then, we sort out this other one. It gives you minus 24, 36. That will give us 60. If you add it very well, 60. You now write 60 times this plus 60 times this minus 60 k. Because minus this, minus this, minus 60, minus 60 times this, minus 60 k. This is the cross product of the two vectors. This is the answer to the cross product of the two vectors. Okay? We have gotten the answer to the cross product of the two vectors. Then we go to the next question that says, find the angle between this and this. Then we clean everything to solve that. You can use the formula from dot product or the formula from cross product to solve it. Can you use the formula from dot product or the formula from cross product? See what we mean. You say from cross product sine theta equals to sine theta equals to a plus b magnitude all over a magnitude b magnitude. Therefore, dot product you say that cos theta equals to a dot b all over a magnitude b magnitude. Now the simpler method to be used is one of dot product. This is
it's rigorous process, that rigorous process. So we have to follow this because that is shorter, so to speak. Now, how do we do it? Get to 3u minus v, right? So you equals to minus i plus 2j minus 2k, right? So 3u equals to minus 3i plus 6j minus 6k. The right of v equals to 3i plus 4j minus 12k. Right of 2v equals to 6i plus 8j minus 24k. That is 2 times is this, 2 times is this, 2 times is this. So we have gotten the 3u and okay, they say 3u minus v. Oh, we don't need to get 2v. So, 3u minus v. Let's get it. Let's use another method. Let's get it. Here, here, equals to this. This is our u, this is our v, this is the outcome. Then 3. What is our u? Minus i plus 2j minus 2k. What is our v? 3i, 4j minus 12k. Then I will put minus. 3 times is minus 3i, minus 3i, minus 3i, minus 6i. 3 times is 6j, 6j minus 4j equals to 2j. 6j minus 4j equals to 2j. 3 times is minus 6k, minus 6k plus 12k. Minus 6 plus 12. 3 times is minus 6k plus 12k. That will be giving us 6k. Okay? So we have gotten an answer to be minus 6i plus 2j plus 6k. That is our 3u minus v. Then for the u plus v, we say this is our u and this is our v. Our u is minus 1 minus i 2j minus 2k. Then plus our v is 3i plus 4j minus 12k. We say it's equal to minus i plus 3i, 2i. 2j plus 4j, 6j. Minus 2k plus times minus minus. Minus 2k minus 12k. That will give me minus 14k. So I've gotten the answers to this to be also 2i plus 6j minus 14k. So these are the two answers I will use. I have to find the angle between this answer and this answer. How do I get it? Let me use the dot product. To get the angle, I will use 3u minus v dot u plus v. That will be giving me, I will write, what is my 3u minus v? Minus 6i plus 2j plus 6k. This one, 2i plus 6j minus 14k. Then, I will now say, okay, this dot this, minus 6i dot i will give me 1, minus 6 times 2. That will be giving me minus 12. Okay? J dot J will give me 1. 2 times 6, 12. Okay? Then, J dot K is 1. 6 times 14. 6 times 4, 24. That will be giving us 84. Okay? So that will be giving us minus 84. So when you sort out this, it will be giving you an answer.
minus 12 plus 12, 0. Then the answer will be minus 84. Then you now say, what is your A magnitude? What is your A magnitude? That means, what is your 3? 3 U minus V magnitude. That will be giving you square root of minus 6 squared plus 2 squared plus 6 squared. That will give you the answer. Let's sort it out. This will be giving you This will be giving you 36. This will be giving you 4. This will be giving you 36. So let's sort it out. So you bring your calculator and you, you say 36 plus 4 plus 36. That will be giving us the square root of it to be 8.72 approximately. 8.72. Then you get also u plus v magnitude. That will be square root of what is your u? That will be 2 square plus c squared plus minus 14 squared. So what will it give me? We, we use our calculator again. We say square root of four bracket plus 36 Texas plus bracket that will be giving us fifteen point three six. That is the magnitude. So, we are gotten the value for this A dot B. We have also gotten the value for A magnitude and B magnitude. And you remember, our A dot B, our A is 3U minus V. Our B is U plus V. So, we say this times is I1, this times is minus 12, this times is J, this times is 12, this times is 1, this times is minus 84. So with that, we say that A dot B is minus, 40, uh, minus 84. Then magnitude, you put this in your calculator, it gives you 8.72. That is minus 6 squared plus 2 squared plus 6 squared. 8.72. Then for this one, you put 2 squared plus 6 squared plus minus 14 squared. That gives us 15.36. Then you now say, that means that our final answer will now be cos theta cos theta equals to a dot b is minus minus 84 all over a magnitude is uh, 8 times b magnitude is 15.36 so whatever it gives you, you say therefore theta equal to cos inverse of minus 84 all over 8 times 15.36. That will give you your answer. 8 times 15.36. 8 times minus 84. Divided by bracket 8 times 15.36.
That will be giving us theta equal to cos inverse of minus 0 0.6836. So, when you press this, when you press this in your calculator, whatever it gives you is the angle between the two vectors, this and this. So, don't forget to press this in your calculator by pressing shift cos minus 0 0.26836. Whatever it gives you will be your answer. Please watch the last part of this video to see how to resolve a given vector. Okay? See the video. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and like my video. Comment as well and share with your well wishes. Stay safe and see you in the next video.